Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and Apple today released a brand new update for Mac OS Sequoia 15.5. In this video, we're going to go over everything new included in this update, along with installing an, an Apple Silicon Mac and an Intel Mac. We're also going to do an early preview of a brand new OpenCore Legacy Patcher update 2.4.0 for unsupported Mac users. We got a lot to cover in this video, so let's jump in and get started. Welcome to my channel. I'm a Mac OS platform engineer for a Fortune 500 company. I've been using Macs for over 20 years and I produce update videos, troubleshooting, and walkthroughs for new and old Macs. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Along with Mac OS Sequoia 15.5, Apple released the full set of OS updates for all their products today, including for Mac OS, Sonoma 14.7.6 security update, Ventura 13.7.6. Now on the mobile side, We've got iOS 18.5. Now, keep in mind, this was an update from the release candidate from 7.5 to now 7.6 updated today. iPadOS, same thing, new version from the RC 7.6. iPadOS 17.7.7 was also released now for the previous version, 17, 16, and 15. Those updates remain the same. HomePod OS 18.5, tvOS 18.5, VisionOS 2.5, and watchOS 11.5. On this demonstration, 2020 M1 MacBook Air, Five Vault encrypted, and we have our test fake Apple ID signed in, the Find My, and all that stuff enabled. And the idea is to do the test to make sure that we're trying to follow not just a brand new machine firing up. We've got all kinds of apps. We've got all kinds of custom things set up here to make sure that we don't catch anything that's any kind of an issue. Keeping track of two interesting things here that we talked about in previous updates, and that's the automatic enablement of Apple intelligence and the automatic enablement of software updates. We talked about that last time, how Apple has enabled software updates in here in the automatic update section where all of a sudden it's turned on in previous updates. We got to make sure that's off on our unsupported Macs. But for our supported Macs, if you don't want that on, and you turn that off, we need to make sure that Apple's not trying to turn that back on. And the same with Apple Intelligence. We have this all turned off and we're going to track to see if Apple turns that back on in 15.5. We are also going to be tracking the space in storage that Apple Intelligence takes. A lot of people are upset how much space Apple Intelligence is taking on the system when they don't even want it anymore. So in this system, it's 12 gigabytes worth of space being taken up by Apple Intelligence. So we're gonna install the update by going to General and then Software Update. And remember, we've got the brand new installation area here where you can get more information about it by clicking the I and then you can click install update tonight where we'll try to update overnight or we can click on update now. We'll agree and we have to type in our user password. and I'll start to download the update. What we're going to do is we're gonna keep an eye on how long it takes to install on our Apple Silicon Mac and our T2 Mac to see the differences. We'll let this download, prepare, install, and we'll be right back after that's all complete. Okay, we are back up after the 15.5 update on our Apple Silicon M1. We can open up software update and we can see that we're already up to date and to get the build version, all we need to do is click on 15.5 and there's 24F74. That's the same version as the release candidate that was released last week. So if you were on the beta, you do not need to update. Now let's take a look at how long it took to install the update. If we take a look at all the previous updates, we can see that I took here. The preparing only took eight minutes and the actual installation when it rebooted to the black screen took three minutes for a total 11 minutes. And that's right around the same time that a feature release or a point release like 15.4, 15.3 takes. So that's right on target. Now, if we go to our T2 2018 Mac mini, we're at 15.5 and we can see we are on the same build version. And if we want to be able to see how long it took to install the update, it definitely took a lot longer. For 15.5, a total of 24 minutes, and that's even longer than the 15.4 update. A lot of the time was in the installation time between the reboot to the black screen with the progress bar and Intel's take a lot longer than the Apple Silicon. So that shows you the big difference. Now, the next thing we're going to check is if software update was automatically enabled like we talked about before. To check, all we need to do is go into the I click the little I here and we can check the settings. It was not re-enabled after we had turned it off. So that's a good thing. Now let's check Apple Intelligence to see if that was re-enabled and it was not re-enabled. So it's good to see that on this particular update, the Apple Intelligence and Siri was not re-enabled automatically. So we always got to go in here and make sure that these are off on our unsupported Macs. Now let's check the size of the Apple Silicon update to see if there was any change. So if we go into Apple Intelligence, click on On, we click on Siri, Enable, 
and then if we go into our image playground and make sure that that's enabled we can click on this to make sure and it's saying it's downloading in the background so we'll let that continue to download you can keep track on how much apple intelligence is downloading by going up into by opening up activity monitor and clicking on network and you can see that these spikes of download now that we have a flat line here we should be done downloading so if we open up image playground we can see if it's complete and it is now so that's done and we should have the full download for apple intelligence too and looks like we're good let's go back to general let's go back to storage and let's see what we are calculating for our system mac os apple intelligence here we'll click on the i and we're at 12.16 now if we look at the previous update we were at 12.01 so we got a little bit more data on this update now let's take a look at what's new in the 15.5 updates on apples what's new in updates for mac os sequoia now we get our standard updated includes enhancements bug fixes and security updates. Now the one difference here is enhancements. I don't know what that, that is. We know bug fixes fix things and we know about the security updates which we'll go over after that. But this is a little bit different that they've added this. Again, I wish we had more information. Hopefully we can get some better notes here for a operating system that is used all over the world. But we do have a big plus for parents. If you're a parent and you are monitoring your son or daughter's usage on their phone or iPad, we now can get a notification for when screen time passcode is used on a child's device. And this is important in case we find out that they guessed the passcode or they found out a way around it. So you'll get a notification when they've used that so you can tell that maybe they're trying to change some settings or disable it. So that's a really great fix for parents and screen time. Now the fact that I assist with managing Max in an enterprise level, we're always taking a look at the enterprise notes for Sequoia. And it's wonderful that the team that manages that puts out fantastic notes that talk about each individual fix and change to the system. But one of the important things that we should look at here is some issues that were that users in the enterprise were having when upgrading to 15.4. We talked about an issue on the previous update to 15.4, one that was fixed, but if you had a platform SSO configured in your company, the system would restart to recovery until file vault was disabled inside recovery so that was a pretty big issue that some of the enterprises were having and that's resolved with 15.5 another important piece here that we need to call out is apple filing protocol afp or apple share all the way back to system 6 in 1988 is now deprecated and will be removed in a future version of mac os which could be mac os 16 coming out in june and that's important if you're running an old afp server or if you're, for some reason you're still using apple filing protocol definitely take a look at this because this is going to be turned off in the future now let's take a look at the apple security releases page and we can take a look at mac os sequoia 15.5 there is 39 individual updates here that are fixed in 15.5 and at the very bottom bottom there is eight different webkit updates for the safari browser and the webkit system that we know that let's take a look at the safari version safari was updated to 15.5 21.2.5 up from 21.1 taking a look at the firmware side if you have an apple silicon mac your firmware was updated 101 to 121 the same with the iboot bootloader now if you have an intel T2 Mac, your bridge of us was updated to 15072 from 14,000. On the T2 firmware side, your firmware was updated from 101 to 120. Next up is a quick preview of OpenCore Legacy Patcher for unsupported Macs with the latest version that just came out three hours ago, 2.4.0. Now this is again a quick look before I do my big update video that goes over all the changes, shows you the full installation and tests it against 15 different Mac models. But for now, let's just take a quick look here. We got the latest version available on the GitHub and we've tested it on our MacBook Air 11 inch early 2014 metal compatible Mac with 2.4.0. We installed it everything went good on the installation we can see here in the system settings we are on 15.5 24f74 so everything went good on this installation we also got the latest kernel debug kit and the metal lib support package was also released as you can see here 15.5 24f74 so again everything's looking good so far on this early quick view for open core legacy patch and that's it for our 15.5 sequoia update video stay tuned again for my open core legacy patch or full testing video on the latest version of 2.4 Point zero. Within the next day or two, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.